Hey you guys, PGD here. I hope you're all doing well. Let me just start by saying I'm not at all sponsored by the company that I am going to talk about and that is Hot Look only because uh, I have to tell you that I've spoken about them before but you really can get some great deals on products. Um, I was really, really fortunate and happy that I saw the sale one day that they were having where I think it was the first time ever they had featured Earth's Nectar. And I've spoken to you about this brand before. It's one for natural hair care and People don't have natural hair, use it as well. But anyway, Earth's Nectar. Okay. First of all, not only was the price reduced because that's what Hot Look is all about. You're getting these sales for a very limited period of time. I think this one was on for like two days, 48 hours or whatever it is. But a short period of time, a sale runs. You're getting it for like half price, sometimes even more than half the price. So for me to get these products at this discount was such a steal, such a steal. Um, I'm going to have down below my referral link, which anyone can get. This is not, again, anything special. Once you sign up to Hot Look, you too will have a referral link that you can share with friends, family, whatever. And um, so the more people sign up and then actually make a purchase, then you can get like points or however it works, whatever. Um, no one's actually used my referral link. So, um, so I don't know. But it's supposed to be like a points kind of program so anyhow I say all that to say I made my Earth's Nectar purchase and I've purchased things from them before I do have a best of series which I know I've spoken about at nauseum and still have not presented one video from that series yet but something from Earth's Nectar will be featured on my best of list and I was excited to see that on Hot Look I thought I would be able to pick up some of those things that are on my or the one thing that is on my best of list it wasn't there. Why? Because they had a whole new line of things from Earth's Nectar, which I had never seen before. Ambrosia Conditioner. I picked up two of them. Have not. I'm washing my hair with it today, full on. But you know, I'm the type of person that when I get new products in, I, I can't. Some people like hold it to wash day and stuff, which today is going to be my wash day. But I couldn't entirely hold it. I had to take out like a bang area, a piece of the bang and... I did shampoo and condition that like small section. So I can't say fully how it worked, but on that small bang section... Yes, very, very, very. Why was I snapping? I don't know what that was about. But um, and this one has a nice smell. I remember smelling this one. Yep, it's kind of like sweetie. I have a bit of a cold, so it's taking me a little longer today to remember what that scent was when I first smelled it. But um, anyway, it's like a, a sweet, sugary kind of scent, uh, a little bit. Anyway, paraben free, all that good stuff too. But yeah, um, I guess when I do the full on review, then I'll show you ingredients and we'll talk all that stuff but this is their ambrosia conditioner I'm so happy i got two of these it says for coily curly wavy or straight hair so that's like everybody so i got two of these ambrosia conditioner and these are the full ounces you guys full ounces and i don't want to lie and say what i paid for this but it was more than 50 percent off oh do i have the thing Oh, I, yeah, they don't put, it would be in my email, but they didn't put on the little invoice. They only put, like, what you ordered, but not what the price was. I know this hot look does that. I wonder why, but it's in the email, so you would see whatever you paid. But I feel like that was, like, 12 bucks when normally, normally their products are in the 20s or more. Not just, like, at 20, but, like, 24, 20, you know, whatever. So I really got a deal. I only got one of these, uh, the Honey Curls. I know I've shown this before. I only got one because I already have a full backup already upstairs and then I have a half of another bottle and I've gone through a few of these bottles already I previously purchased it from um dubop.com so I only got one of these even because it was on sale really is why I bought it um because it's really good stuff and it was on sale but because I I didn't get tons of that I didn't get tons of it because as I was saying I already have some in the house already I already have some in stock so I got two of the cleansing creams and this is like their co-wash this is new this even the day when it premiered on hot look it was not on the earth's nectar site yet so as you can see this one is down haven't used it but this one I did squeeze a little bit out because I split that bang up to use the shampoo conditioner and the uh, co-wash <laughs> so um this I thought and again, I just did it on a very small portion of hair. It didn't feel as great to me as um, the shampoo and conditioner did. It felt like it got it clean, right? It just felt like it was like it was cool. It just wasn't amazing, right? And then the scent, I was disappointed with the scent because 
it smells like um one of those bubbles that you can blow as a kid so it didn't like the ambrosia line smells super delicious and they have other products i know i showed not this one i showed this one in the past um the sweet orange honey pomade smells so amazing so because they produce things with such amazing scents i'm wondering why some of the things don't have scents others do or if it does have a scent it's like so and this is their pomade and it's not like the kind of remember i spoke about this in my previous video it's not a pomade that like keeps your edges slicked it's more like a, a hair grease but it smells so delicious and it really does lock in moisture if, for people who like to do the whole sealing process so anyway sorry i know i jump around a lot as I was saying, I wonder why since they can obviously make things scented and smell so delicious that then they have other products from the line that don't smell as um, amazing. I don't know. There may be some rationale to that. Anyway, I have also their Ambrosia Shampoo and this one too. Um, as you can see, one pump up, one down. One I didn't use, one I did. It smells delicious, just like the conditioner from the Ambrosia line. Yep. Same sweetie, sweetie scent. I like it. I like it. I did also get this hair gloss. Now, for me, um, many people can buy those, like, they can use coconut oil or many things and just get a shine on their hair. My hair sucks it. It will shine for, like, two seconds, sucks it up, and then it looks dry again, okay? So, I my hair, when it's clarified and everything, it has a measure of shine to it on its own. Not brilliant. It's not a brilliant shine, but it has. It can do a little something on its own when it's clarified and fully clean, um, and doesn't have any products on it. Now, typically, if it's just even if it's washed and cleaned, you know, again, it's not a brilliant shine. So there are times when you know, if you have a nice little curl going on, you want it to pop and shine. And sorry, that's that cold resurfacing. Um, you want it to pop and shine and. I've tried a lot of like little shiners during throughout the years and it doesn't necessarily do much for me long term. This is why I purchased this one. I was hoping that it would. I tried. Sorry. <laughs> I tried a little of it. Let me spray some so you can see. this. Okay. So you see the oil kind of dripping there. It has coconut oil and a couple of other oils in here too. However, and I didn't look at the full on ingredient list, but... I tested this a bit and it really does give me a longer lasting shine and I'll have to do a real test to see like how it compares to other things but I remember coming back to my hair later in the day and still seeing that shine so evidence of shine was longer lasting with this than with some of the other shine products that I've purchased so so far I was um happy with that but again I need to maybe it's like just in my head but I need to actually full on test it test it to see if that's the case this is their aloe vera gel hair gel and it is if I hold it over it will slide right on out it is a jiggly gel but also a slidey gel with some slip um, I didn't read how they encourage you to use it because I was thinking hair gel gel um, but yeah I guess it's of the same or similar consistency to that of Eco Stylo but this is you know their stuff is more um, healthy and hair friendly with the nice ingredients that they use so we'll we'll talk about oh well I can show you what the consistency is like just from here, I just put some on my finger. Uh, let me just close this up now so I don't spill that out. And I put some here. There we go. See? it's very, It feels very thin. Alright, so I'll, I'll test that out in my hair and see how it actually goes. It's not the type of gel that you can use to lay down edges. It's not that type of gel. And the last thing that I got from Earth's Nectar is the um, Ambrosia Luxury Hair Oil. I believe this was the most expensive thing that I got from Earth's Nectar because this was on sale and I'm going to say it was either 18 or 19 bucks on sale. Um, and this oil too, if I recall when I smelled it before, yeah, it, it smells good. It's not too like, um, you know how some oils are very like musky? This is not a musky oil. This one smells like Again, that cold is kicking in. I can't. I'm getting slightly not definitely not lemony, but it's like, um, let me see. Sorry, my nose is failing me today because um, this cold thing. But hopefully by the time I edit the video, I'm fully clear and then I can smell this. But it's not a minty scent. It's not a floral scent. I like it. It's light. It's not too heavy, though. And it just, boom, absorbs. I was rubbing it in so you didn't see it from the beginning. But um, it's just like a nice little oil that I've placed on my scalp just a few times and that's it so I'll really get to use these products now and see how they work on my um, hair 
also I got from Hot Luck. I got two of these, but I gave one to my sister. The other one was in a different scent. I got the lemon sage and it kind of stinks. That I remember when I smelled this one. Yeah, because this one is the sage thing that's throwing it for me. But the grapefruit one, which my sister has, <laughs> did not stink. Um, so yeah, this is a body wash, but normally these are about 18 bucks, And I got them on sale through Hot Look for 9 bucks. And when I first learned about these types of sites like Hot Look or... Um, um, what's the other one? Oh. It starts with an... Rue La La. Okay, was it Rue La La? Yeah, I think it's Rue La La. When I first learned about that type of site, them, and also Hot Look, I actually wrote to the company, uh, is stuff refurbished? Was it sent back? Like, what's going on? And they're like, no, 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 no. This is completely new stuff. And, you know, they work in collaboration with these different companies, and they get these products new to you, and they're not taking it back. So these things will say, like, final sale on many of the items that you'll buy from there. So anyway, you're just getting a, pro a product that maybe it was overstocked or whatever, who knows, but you're getting a product that was never used and you know what the normal price would be if you just even check it out on the website. I've gotten Becca things from there and you know Becca uh, products are kind of pricey. Actually, in this exact order, I ordered something from Becca that didn't ship yet um, and something else. So sometimes it may take a little longer to ship than typically if you were ordering directly from the company. But again, with the money that you're saving, I'm completely happy with waiting. Um, so yeah. So anyway, I paid nine bucks for this one. This is the 16. Yep. 16 ounce. And uh, yeah, the Becca thing, I think I paid like nine bucks for, and it was just a, some type of coverage, something that they had because I just wanted to try it out. And it was again, nine bucks. So I said, why not? Because the normal price I feel like was in the twenties. So Hey, why not try it? If I don't like it, give it to somebody. But yeah, so that's all I got for this little what's new this week kind of hair haul and body wash. And I hope you're all doing well. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, and this lipstick is in my last swatch video. This is the beautiful Cherry Blossom. I was giving you time to guess. Cherry Blossom by Colored Rain. Love it. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.